Unsponsored, Gear Review Turbo. My friends over at Pixel sent me an RGB LED acronym light. <laughs> Get it? That was, a, that was a bad joke, I'm sorry. Anyway, the light is tiny, it's about the size of my smartphone, it's very thin, it's sleek, and it, it feels sturdy, really well constructed, I'm actually kind of surprised. The unit is self-powered, so you don't need to go strapping any batteries onto it, you just charge it up via USB-C. And it's pretty wild, at 100% power, first of all, it's pretty bright, but the battery lasts around 2.5 hours to 2 hours and 45 minutes, and that's at maximum brightness. In all seriousness, this light outlasted the number of SD cards I had available at the time of filming this video, so that's, that's kind of impressive. It takes a little bit less than an hour to fully recharge it. You can also operate this light plugged into a power bank, so it's really good for run and gun filmmaking, which is the style I most identify with. So it's pretty dope in my kit, it barely takes up any room at all. But most importantly, how does it look? I'd say the light looks pretty damn good. The colors render pretty nicely on camera and the more basic daylight and tungsten settings look good as well. No flicker, bright light, good. <laughs> We're gonna do a quick flicker test. I'm just gonna crank the shutter speed. So right now we're at 1 50th of a second and we're just gonna bump that up to 1 500th of a second, no flicker. Let's bring it up to 1 1600th, <laughs> math, 1 2000th. Right, all the way up to one four thousandth. We're looking good. The light can do this, which should really come with one of those video games can cause epilepsy warnings because boy, this is not very great to stare right into. It's a, it's a simple strobe mode, but you can use it for creative things or cool dance parties, I guess. It can also cycle the RGB spectrum. It's pretty tight. There's a ton of creative effects you can do with just this light. And you can easily toggle between these modes by pressing the mode button on the side. Wow. The light even has a chart on the back so you can see what temperature the specific color of light you're looking for is. The flicky switches on the side make it simple to adjust the brightness and the color of the light. These are the only things that feel a little cheap, but on the whole the unit feels pretty good. It's honestly a very straightforward light to use. There's multiple quarter 20 mounts on the sides of the light, so it's perfect to mount it anywhere. There's three of them. That's that's multiple, I guess. If you buy this light, it comes with a charging cable as well as a way to mount the light on top of your camera. And it also comes with a carrying case that makes me think of something for like the Nintendo DS. I, I like that. Someone's gonna say it for sure. I know that's not a Nintendo DS, I just couldn't find mine. So, so it's a Game Boy Color case, whatever. <laughs> All that said, I do have a nitpicky thing about this that I don't love, it's the power button. While it is metal and it feels nice and tactile, it, it just takes long to turn on. And then for whatever reason you have to tap it again to turn the light on? I, I, it's weird, I don't know, I'm, I don't love that. But, small complaint. This was my experience the first time turning it on. Huh. So you definitely gotta hold that for a second before it comes on. Alright, quiet down now. Pass Lou needs total and complete concentration to figure out how to turn this light on. Huh. Okay. Ah! The other thing I'll say is the price tag is $130, which to me, honestly, that's not bad, but for someone starting out, that's probably a big chunk of their budget, so maybe if there's a smaller version that's cheaper, it'd be even more accessible to filmmakers. Also, while I was editing this video and I went to take the screenshot, the, the price went down on Amazon. So good good for you, I guess. Honestly, apart from that, I really dig this light. It's gonna be staying in my camera bag for now. It's super small, lightweight, it seems durable, it's bright, and it works. 9 out of 10 Owen Wilson Wows. Send me more shit like this, Pixel. I, I like this a lot. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for sticking around and hanging out with me and checking these out. Hope you enjoy the light if you get one. Links in the description. Not affiliated, of course, uh, but just a piece of equipment that I think is pretty cool. And as always, check me out here. Share this video. Add me on MySpace. I'm on Discord. Discord to Instagram, no more Facebook, Facebook's gone. Uh, yeah, that's that's about it. All right, I'll see you in the next one, which is gonna be in the next couple of days. It's gonna be a special surprise for 3,000 subscribers. All right, bye. <clears throat> My friends, oh God. Case that makes me think of, uh, you know, something for the, and it's pretty wild at 100% power, and it's pretty wild, and it,
You can also operate this light when plugged. You can also operate this when you buy it. When you buy this light, it comes with a like and subscribe. The sweet Lou photography. The man.